Hi guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back. I'm here to do the weekly oracle card reading video and I know that I haven't done the monthly one for June yet and I'm going to try to record that either today or at the latest get it up by Friday. I'm sorry that I'm behind. I've been a little bit out of sorts the past couple of weeks my sleep has been very sporadic and I've been very tired and whenever I'm like that I have a hard time when my sleep schedule is not normal I have a hard time tapping into my intuitive side which is what I use to do these videos so it makes it a little bit more difficult but hopefully I can get it done by the end of the week if not today I'm going to try to do the weekly one today and I know I used the Goddess Power Oracle Deck the past three weeks, but this week I think I want to use the Divine Energy Oracle Deck again, which is by Sonia Choquet. And click begin a reading. I think I want to do the one morning contemplation card. And instead of as a morning contemplation, I want you to, it can be in the morning, it can be at night, it can be in the afternoon, it can be whenever you want, set aside a time every day to reflect on this message or meditate with the message from this card or just go to sleep thinking about something from the message from this card, asking for your spirit guides to give you a message in your dreams or something. Just focus on this card for a set time every day over the next week and see what that brings about for you in your life. Okay, and I'm going to pick... I don't know what I'm going to pick. Maybe this one. Okay. Speak up. Speak up. Let's read more. It sounds like you're feeling stifled. Um, just right off the bat, what my intuition says, I think you feel like um, someone is trying to control you or someone is wanting you to do something you don't want to do and you're being asked to speak your opinion or stand your ground, but you're afraid because you're afraid of upsetting someone else involved. Um, that's just what I get initially from seeing Speak Up. Let me click read more and see what else it says. Speak Up. Is there a divide between how you show yourself to the world and how you really are? In what areas are you hiding your true self? Your soul is turning up the inner pressure to stop hiding and honestly reveal yourself and how you genuinely feel. Your divine energy is calling you to be authentic in your communication as this will open you to true intimacy. Do not believe you are convincing anyone with false appearances. In the same vein, do not trust the false appearances of others. Your divine invitation Express your emotions rather than stuffing them with intellectual control. Recognize the difference between new feelings that provide valuable insight and information for creating direct and open communication and old defensive patterns that cut off communication. Stop the battle between your head and heart and allow your ego to step aside. Let your heart speak trust that positive relationships with others are beckoning you to open up. The more real you are, the more real others will be with you. Share your feelings openly and kindly, and don't edit or water down your truth in any way. Others want to know. This will build bridges in important ways. Okay, so, kind of like what I was feeling, it sounds like you're hiding something or you're holding something back because you're afraid of what others will think if you share how you really feel or what you really think. But right now your spirit guides are asking you to get the courage to stand up and say or do 
what it is that you feel like you should do, even though you're afraid about some kind of negative consequence that may come from doing that, your spirit guides want you to know that it's okay in the end once any kind of negativity over that is resolved. Everything will be better for you once you stop kind of hiding in the shadows how you really feel or what you really think. People will um, people will trust and appreciate you more if you are being honest and open and true to yourself instead of being fake or hiding something. So focus on that every day for the next week. Focus on asking your spirit guides to give you the courage to speak up. Ask your spirit guides for the courage to show your true self to those around you. Ask for the courage to not be afraid of any negative consequences that may happen because they are there to help you live your most true self that you possibly can and in doing that you need honest and open communications with how you feel and what you think and what you believe in with others around you and after you do some work on this over the next week Please let me know in the comments below how this has worked out for you. And that's all for this one. And I thank you as always for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos with anyone who you think may be interested. And I will try to get the monthly reading for June up by the end of the week. I'm going to try to do it today, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to or not. So check for that either today, tomorrow, or Friday. And that's all. So have a blessed day. Bye.